Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. The question I'm answering tonight is, what's in the box in regards to this? This is the Kickstarter version of Roll Camera, the filmmaking board game by Malachi Ray Rempin. I'm going to read off the back of the box quickly, but then I'm going to sit here. We're going to crack open the shrink, get to check out this nice Kickstarter exclusive pop-up lid, you know, clacker style thing. I don't know what one of those is called. Before that, though, I do have to thank Mark from Grand Gamers Guild for sending us this game to check out. Thank you so much, Mark. No other compensation was provided. So you're urgently needed on set. The lights are melting the costumes. The camera assistant ran off with the star and we're burning through tape and money faster than a 35 millimeter film at 120 frames per second. This movie production is a total disaster. Luckily, we've got you. Use your famous creativity, problem solving skills and brilliant ideas to get us back on track. That's why we hired you, isn't it? Reset back to one and roll camera. This is a board game for one to four players, says it plays in 45 to 90 minutes, age 10 plus, and it is a cooperative game, and I do know it's dice driven. All right, here we have Roll Camera from Keen Bean Games. This is the Kickstarter version, so all the Kickstarter upgrades. Now, normally I would lift the box and show you what's in here, but being the Kickstarter exclusive, this actually opens like a movie film clacker. Oh, it looks like I probably want this to be sideways because we have a large plastic tray there's some interesting stuff in here is there more that's it so this is it interesting so that's it in the box deluxe clacker interesting kind of neat we're gonna put that right about here and we'll take a look at what we got so we have a rule book kind of looks like a, a notepad style rule book you know you got a script um, there's a, this has a nice texture to it. It's, it's a, a thicker cover. Actually, all the inside pages, too. It has a linen finish on it. I don't know if you can see that in the light. Probably not. So, we have the rule book here. Um, looks like lots of examples. I love this. When you get graphics of every single component. Big bonus here for showing both sides of cards. The front and the back. Too many component lists from publishers fail to do that. And sometimes it's hard to tell exactly what things are. Then we've got a setup page showing you how to set up the board. Uh, lots of examples in here. Clearly divided sections. You've got some sidebars. All impressive looking things. The, the quality of this rule book, the, the physical quality is really nice. Um, how to assign your dice and so on. Um, the main board actions. So obviously this is some type of worker placement or action selection. How to shoot scenes. How your quality goes up. Um, I like the color-coded stuff here, so that's well done. So you've got color-coded sections, uh, symbology reference, and rules for playing up to five to six players. So that's cool. I didn't realize that. The back of the box, I'd only played up to four, but in here, we have rules for five to six players, and very popular, and during our current pandemic, solo rules. Uh, there is a QR code here to upload your score. Um, there's a glossary and credits. Oh, I like this. So there's a nice quick reference on the back of the book. Thank you, camera. There's a nice quick reference on the back of the book that I dig. Um, though I would have preferred a turn summary or something, but maybe there's a card for that. All right, so we have one, that's it, one punch board. Not a lot of stuff in here. We have one punch board and the board. There must be stuff in here or something. I don't know. We're going to unfold the board here. Oh, it's two-sided. Nice. Oh, I've got it upside down. So we have the roll camera board here. Something about this reminds me of um, Mad Magazine in a way, the Sergio Argonez art in the corners. And we have a second side. Oh, this is interesting. Welcome to... Hey. Seriously? There we go. Welcome to the Roll Camera Story Builder. If you're writing your own film script, you can use this side of the board to brainstorm story structures. So this looks interesting. We've got our own little story builder here with 20 different scenes split over four different acts. 
or sorry, uh, three acts with the larger second act. Interesting. All right, what we got in this film roll here? Oh yeah, there is stuff in here. I'm like, there has to be dice. It can't just be one punch board for this whole game. I am trying to figure out how to open this. All right, figured it out. It's like here. I don't want to break anything here. There we go. Oh, that's cool. So we have the player boards. So it looks like each player is doing something completely different. So you have a director, you've got the star, you've got the production designer, you've got the, the cinematographer, the editor, and the producer. And I'll just kind of hold one of these up. Obviously there's spots to put boards on, and it looks like the actions are different depending on who you were playing. Uh, you've got a really already assembled budget and schedule tracker. Oh, I see a big red, that looks bad. I think that might be production shut down. Cool. We got some tiny cards, so like one third. That's interesting. A uh, little bit more than a third of a standard card, but they're actually thicker too. So we got some tiny cards. This says grandma. My guess is we've got actors or cast roles. I'm gonna crack this open so we can flip through a few of these. So these look like they obviously attach to the bottom of something. Oh, there's multiple parts. So we have a top and a bottom. So let's split this deck in half. All right, so top and bottom. So we have grandma, murderer, uh, heartache, knife-wielding maniacs, secret letters, broken dreams. So again, these are all parts of your script, obviously. And then we have the top halves, which are shockingly outrageous. So you could have like the shockingly outrageous grandmother or the uh-oh incoming grandma. Or, <laughs> so we have the top parts of the scripts. That looks like it's going to be a lot of fun in play. All right, we have a deck of cards here, obviously showing a um, scene, movie scene or a, um, wow, I, I am failing at my movie lingo today. Storyboard. That's what I was looking for. Looks like possibly storyboard or scene in a movie. Okay, the, the packaging on these, I'm glad I have a hobby knife to cut. It's like slightly crunchier than you'd expect. All right, so these are all different, and then obviously I have other things. Okay, yeah, so, sorry, that's even more interesting. So on the back, you have the storyboard with the scene number and a set of dice, and then on the front, you get to see the actual movie scene. That's well done. Um, looks like those go there. So again, we have a whole bunch of these. Uh, there's different colors. I don't know what the colors are for. Each showing different dice combinations, and then scenes on the front with different, it looks like, rewards in the corner. If it's a two-star, three-star scene, two or one-star. And over here, we have problems. So back's pretty boring, but we have problem. The art team is now using gold leaf paint for everything. Assigning art department to any action costs an extra dollar. And the interesting part I see here is there's a resolve side. So obviously there's going to be like a flip it over. So we've got a number of these. They've got a amusing artwork in the top corner. You can kind of see the DJ's all stressed out there, whatever's going on. Editor. Oh, he's, it's someone editing in the film room. Uh, Deadly Wasp built a nest in one of your editing rooms. So interesting. There are a ton of these. whole bunch of problems. Tossing that down there. Cracking open. It looks like we have more problems. Oh, yeah. These problems. Oh, they have different things on them. So you might get a heads up on what the problem is for what type of problem it is. So it looks like we may have more problems here. And based on the side of this, we have some other. All right, so I see player aids. Player aids are always good. I appreciate that because, again, I didn't see a rule summary on the back of the box, but it's all here. And what's interesting is they are unique to each player character. So you have player aids here, and they're actually unique to each of the different roles. That's appreciated. So it looks like we have a very asymmetric cooperative game here. I'm going to toss that there because I don't know where else it would go. Then we have ideas. Simple enough graphic. Again, some really cool artwork with the, the rather unique style. Don't use any electricity today. That, I don't think that seems like a good idea for a film set. Uh, we got all kinds of ideas. Tons of them. Again, they do have symbols in the corner. I'm going to guess you're going to have a hand of these. 
because if you splay them, you can see those symbols. And then I got something else. What do we got? Oh, different production companies. So we have a number of different production companies with their logos. So, Yes We Care Film Corporation, Plan Sequence Enterprises, Quick Buck Entertainment. Uh, looks like each of these gives another, maybe more, maybe more asymmetric abilities, maybe optional rules. We'll throw that down, and then finally we have two more of these, which we'll toss here. The only thing we're left with is the dice. These are etched. That is impressive. I don't know if you're able to see that, but these are actually inset. They are not just painted on. I love it. Uh, they appear to be all identical. So what we'll do is we'll take one. So we have the, the camera. We have the traditional um, tragedy humor. We've got an explosion, which that doesn't look good. It's in another color. We have a microphone. We have a paint palette. And then we have a light. So there's your various sides on the dice. I gotta say this tray is cool. Um, looks like everything's gonna fit back in nicely. This goes here. These go over top here. Once you've got the punched stuff, I am gonna assume that fits in these spots. So you know what? This isn't gonna take long. Okay, uh, maybe? Hmm, oh, over here. Perhaps. No. Interesting. I am not sure. I would have guessed these were going to fit up here. Got round things. Okay, those definitely go there. Oh, I didn't even notice. There's a little tiny pink wooden piece here. Alright. Honestly, I am not sure where these are. Oh, they're going to go where the dice are. Look at that. I'm smarter than I thought. The dice... Yeah, the dice go here. It's odd that they were in the other spot. The dice go here. The cards go here. Look at that. Boom. Now my game's not only unboxed, it's punched. Now I have to assume this does not come in the non-Kickstarter version of this game. I can't confirm that. So we have this. We got a board. We got a book. That's it. That is everything you get with roll camera. We're going to slide everything back in here. That made a terrible sound. I apologize. All right. Pro tip. No? All right. I thought maybe it only fit one way. I greatly apologize for that sound. Anyone who had just had to listen to that. Boom. Roll camera. Kickstarter version from Keen Bean Games. So there you have it, what you get in the box for a roll camera, a diced-based, card-driven, action movie-making, well, not necessarily action movie, movie-making, I should say movie-making board game. Uh, this is the Kickstarter edition from Keen Bean Games that comes with a deluxe clacking case and a storage solution that looks like a film reel, plastic storage solution. I gotta say, this looks impressive. There, there's some really cool-looking components in there, the dice look good, the rule book. I couldn't believe the quality of the rulebook, just the texture. It was this linen finished, almost plastic like paper. Insert were great. So little to punch, quick to set up. That's going to be a great one for just throw it down on the table and start playing right away. Nice custom dice that were actually etched. Really looking forward to trying this game out and getting it to my game table. So thank you very much for joining me. I am Mo Tuzma, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. But the main place I would love you to go is to our webpage, which is tabletopbellhop.com. In addition to that, if you dig this video and would like to continue or would like to support us continuing making more videos like this, you can also head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and please tip your bellhop. That's it for me for this unboxing video. Thank you for joining me while we took a look at Roll Camera. Good night and game on.